I have uh, one warrant article, and I believe Council is going to want to talk to someone else about that before we, in fact, discuss it. In addition to that, I have, as we were going through the warrant articles and the budgets for this year, uh, a number of things were cut out, and we had indicated at that time we would bring them back for uh, approval subject to availability of funds uh, for waivers just before we got to the end of the year. And I have four of those. That uh, I need the board to grant waivers on. Um, the first one deals with the purchase of the electronic visible signs that we have. Uh, as you perhaps know, those signs are uh, becoming somewhat obsolete because they, they're somewhat old now. They're not quite a number of years old. Uh, the cost of these is seventeen thousand five hundred dollars per unit. They're programmable from an office by computer, so that's it's a little more expensive than uh, a regular unit. We're suggesting that four of those units be purchased for a cost of seventy thousand dollars, and since there is a specific manufacturer, Wenko, uh, and, and it is a single cost unit, uh, we would like to have the board grant a, a waiver for the purchasing policy uh, to request under. Section 718-16, a single source, and 718-5.1 as being in the best interest of the town of Hampton to purchase those four units from funds at the end of the year if they are available. The second one we have is you want to do this individually or you want to uh, up here. How much was the first one? Uh, first one was seventy thousand dollars. All right, I'll make the motion. Second. What are we talking about? Signs. Electronic signs, portable okay. electronic signs. And that money that that has been previously authorized to be purchased? No, they're not in the budget. We're talking about money from the end of the budget at the end of the year to replace the ones that are becoming obsolete that we have. Thank you. And they're programmable. I'll second it. Discussion. I, this is the first time I've heard of them. I just uh, I, I know we own four or five of them right now. I believe uh, we did have five. One is uh, was destroyed. It's obsolete. Obviously, we got rid of it. We have four, uh, and they're gaining an age, and they're becoming a, a problem in maintenance. I I just I, I can't see it. This year. Okay, that's fine. Does make a difference to me? All right, we have a motion. We have a, uh, a second. All in favor? Opposed? Abstain? Oh, no, I oppose. Okay. I oppose. Two, two. So. Two, two. That's fine. That's okay. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> we have a decision. Yeah. Uh, they ask for money, and if they don't get it, they don't get it. Uh, the second one is for $20,400. It is for the purchase uh, from a single source supplier. We have, we've been buying these each year. Uh, 30 sewer covers, they're waterproof. Uh, they ask they seal our sewer inlets so that they will not take storm water into the inlets. Uh, we have been we have been buying these every single year. The waiver is the same. There are 30 units. Uh, the waiver is from section 718-16. It is a single source, and 718-5.1 uh, being in the best interest of the town. So are these. These are the new covers. covers that are sealed, yes. so that they won't allow water that is correct. to infiltrate when yep. the roads flood down there and stuff. Yes, we've been trying to replace as many as possible, and, and we'd like to replace thirty more. And what's the cost on that? Uh, the cost on this is twenty thousand four hundred dollars. We have a motion. Uh, motion. All right, this is going to prevent infill. Yeah, I'll make the motion. I think. I'll we, second you, it. you know, we have that infiltration down there. You know, we talk about it all the time, or what we, we have doing it down there. And I think right. this is just a small part of it to help. And that and that adds to the the wastewater treatment plant. Right? Absolutely, it, it does. It, it does. does. It does. All right. Any other discussion on? Yeah, I, I uh, you know, it's it's it's, uh, it's late in the game. Uh, now we're up to ninety grand that's been proposed. Uh, we that that funds two or three part time uh, public works guys for summer to get stuff done, and uh, I don't support it. <clears throat> okay, all in favor? Opposed? 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one.
Uh, the next one is this is for Atlantic from Atlantic Recycling Company Incorporated. It is a quotation to re replace the compactor at the transfer station for the amount of seventy two thousand six hundred and sixty one dollars. This has been removed from the warrant now two years in a row. Uh, and needs to be replaced. We just finished uh, trying to weld new sections onto it. It would be a waiver from Section 718-5.1. Okay. I'll, I'll make the motion. I, you know, I've I've seen that that that's the center one down there, isn't it? Is it's it? the one on the end. The one on the end. The one on the yeah, end. Yeah, because the so original equipment was a transfer station, and that transfer station was put in in. Long time before early I got here. Early 2000s, I believe. Yeah, it was. So we, we've gotten our work out of it. So. Okay, I'll second it. But, uh, discussion. Yeah, now we're up to 160 grand, which is 10 percent of the sewer project. I say no. Okay, all in favor. But can I ask a question? Yeah. So this, all this money is, what we think is going to be left over that we can now use. If money is not left over, we won't we won't sign the orders and issue them. This is a, this is a warrant article that we pulled from the warrant. Right. Right. It's been in. It was defeated the year before. We pulled it this year. It's in the budget. Uh, it's going to be pulled from the budget for 2018. So it'll be done in 2017 if the funds are available. Okay. That's it's the only contingency. Funds have to be available at the end of the year. And, and it will be taken out of the 18 budget. That would be taken out of the 17 budget. Yes, okay. but it's in the 18 budget. It's in the 18 budget. Will be removed the 18 okay. budget. Okay, uh, I'll say yes. Three. Opposed. One. And the last one is the. Again, this was something that was in the budget uh, and will be removed if it's approved, uh, and it was requested as a separate warrant article as well, which was removed from the 2019 warrant articles. And that's the replacement uh, of the motor on the Marine One, which is $16,121. As you recall, we, re we did replace a motor last year, or earlier this year, on Marine One uh, that was defective. This is the same motor at same age. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Discussion? And it's going to be removed from the 18 budget. Yes, sir. It funded yep. through the 17 budget. That is correct. If funds are available. Yep. All in favor? Discussion? None? Okay, all in favor? Opposed? Unanimous. Yeah, Look like. Yeah, peace out. Okay, that's all I got.